Hello Marvel Heroes fans, uh, my name is Wilfred and welcome to my channel. There are videos in this channel with the Marvel Heroes uh, kind of like uh, guides and videos. So do check out the link at the description of the video. There are more guides for you to watch. Now back in June 2015, I made an update to uh, back then was uh, Miss Marvel's um, guide. And uh, it's been more than a year has passed from then till now. Um, I'm still using the same build. So whatever you're seeing here, the build wise is exactly the same. So what Garzini has done on this particular heroes is a very nice brand new default uh, um, costume, which is from the all new, all different uh, series of the comic book. If you're, if you're reading those, and I, I think it's stunning. This is a really nice, and she's been rebranded as the Captain Marvel. And also because of the all new, all difference with the new costume and so on, they have uh, gone ahead, the artwork team has gone ahead and refreshed all the icons on the power tree. So uh, some of you may think that my guy is data and so on, been asking me to update it. So I'm updating for you guys, but in the end, it's exactly the same build I'm having. Uh, so as I always say in this game, and uh, well, even back then when I did an update for Miss Marvel or Captain Marvel now, it was just the unique update. So whatever guys you see on my channel, if it's more than one or two years old, it is still very valid. Because Gazillion don't really update hero that often. Um, it may, right now, they update hero maybe a couple, couple, couple months for each hero. The last hero was uh, Emma Frost a couple months ago. So if you time it uh, 60, you know, close to 60 heroes, how long will it take for your favorite hero to get updated? Probably a while. So uh, in short, my guy is still valid. But as and when I need to update it, I'll update it for you guys now. Um, so what can I tell about Miss Marvel or Captain Marvel? Um, probably her current state of, uh, of, of uh, Captain Marvel. Uh, with the Hela nerf, um, you know, Hela, the old Hela made all heroes awesome, regardless of build and so on. So with the new Hela, you, you, you and I know that uh, it's not the case anymore. Uh, it's more interesting for high, high kind of like uh, end game gearing for those newer heroes because they tend to hit the cap of the diminishing return uh, on the brutal and so on. So they change it. But uh, for some heroes that are dated, it's really painful because uh, if, as for Miss Marvel, she's a melee and ranged. Uh, hybrid. So in terms of blessing wise, her DPS down by four percent, four point five percent, as you've seen in my videos. Uh, not only that, I mean you know, Gazillion expect us to compensate all this like a deficiency of the uh, blessing design with the Omega system. But I've got ten thousand points, and I can say for sure that because she's also hybrid on physical energy, as this build is, uh, it's always uh, the bitter end of the stick. So she's not really in terms of DPS. Why I compare her with the brand new Angela as of today. Uh, Gear-wise, they are all similar. My Angela is not even uh, rank 4 on Legendary, already ahead of uh, Miss Marvel by a fair bit, uh, looking at like maybe 5% or so. Uh, blessing play a part, hero um, you know, design play a part as well. But in any case, uh, as I always say, if you're a fan of the heroes, you always make it work. And I know a lot of you are a fan of Miss Marvel or Captain Marvel now. So uh, this video is really for the fans. And the uh, why do I play uh, melee build rather than range? Uh, I would say that at the current state of this unfortunate kind of like uh, situation here from, from Captain Marvel, range build probably will come up a bit better because uh, you don't need to worry about uh, gearing for physical and energy. You can just go for all energy within the Omega system, abuse that, and then you can pick up the uh, four, four, four low key um, blessing for the range build as well. Awesome. So your Miss Marvel probably be more awesome. But uh, in the event whereby you're still with me playing a hybrid hero, because I do like hybrid hero, unfortunately hybrid right now is a very terrible shape, uh, then this video is for you. Right? Um, so the, the build wise, I'm going to show you a little bit of a Cosmic Danger Room clip later on. Um, and I, I'm going to use the health costume but because I found that she's really fragile. <laughs> even, even with 36,000, 37,000 health, when I go into one of the tournament, uh, the dupe kind of like, uh, uh, the dupe kind of the tournament, it was really not pretty. So I made a video, it wasn't that great, so I scrape it and I redo another one. Uh, if, with the even higher challenge rating, now this one is challenge rating 24, the one that I'm going to pick is close to, uh, I think, 40, 50. Uh, but it's just one of those things, this game is sometimes not balanced even within the engine room itself. Uh, so I'm going to do that, but before I do that, just a, a bit of introduction to you, if, um, you know, to make some, put, some, put some context to what, you, what you're going to see 
uh, in just a bit. So the power that I pick is the basic lust build. So I'm going to use the Cosmic Haymaker as a main spender. If I can get close to the mob, I'll do that. If I can't, then what I'll do, I'll do the uh, Photonic Wave that you see from a range. Uh, it's rather nice. It kind of like uh, it should uh, stun, but sometimes it's, uh, it doesn't. But, and it has the uh, damage over time component for it for 8 seconds. The uh, Stellar Flare as well, it is a cooldown. Um, in the old day, this one is charge power. I actually quite like the charge power. You just have to go off at the right time. But um, but right now, it, it just a cooldown. So you just mash it. And another one is Infuse Uppercut, provided that you can get close to the map, then you can uppercut it, provided that you do, do not miss it as well. So all these three powers are so-called eight second window. Uh, two of them damage over time, one cooldown. So I use the Stellar Flare to time my the other two uh, damage over time damage over time when I should reapply. Now, but that, um, it kind of uh, tossed the whole timing off the window because of this photonic, photonic energy charging that is faster than 8 seconds. So, uh, when it's full, any of these three powers will benefit a vast amount of uh, buff. So, it's 150% buff to all three of them. Uh, traditional wisdom will tell us that the damage over time, the melee one, usually is a better one because uh, melee attack is higher DPS and also damage over time uh, is higher than the uh, the um, the other one, the cooldown power, and this is arranged. But uh, in reality, because of how this one pop and you know when whether you are facing a, a multitude of mobs uh, very far away or get close, so you know it, you just do what you can. But because of that kind of like uh, reapplying of the uh, power before the 8 seconds has expired uh, to make use of the 150% buff, it kind of mess up your whole timing a little bit. So you've got to mentally kind of like be aware that although you're using 8 seconds to time your 3 power, uh, sometimes it doesn't work out that way. All right? And another one is that the crush time strike is very nice. It's one of my favorite power in the entire game. Uh, not only that, because of the visual power, the sound effect, as well as the fact that the more points you put in, the shorter the cooldown is. You know, this is a very good power to sort of like, you know, go around, be agile. Uh, but as you can see, the newer hero design, or recently, they do not have this anymore. They just have a very boring 8 second cooldown. So it's very, very nice. Uh, Miss Marvel is worth to put in the points on this one as well. And as and when you got luxury of uh, of not spending the uh, photonic energy onto any of these three items here, you could use it to regenerate your health. It is rather alright because it gives you another 3,000. It's not really that good, but it, maybe it's just like a mad kit kind of thing on demand. Uh, last but not the least, the... Um the uh, this this signature which is the radial cascade is the one that regenerate this power very very fast so you could actually spam one two three and four of them you know uh, if you so wish to so with that said that is all i would like to talk about and i'm heading into the danger room and show you a little bit more about her gameplay then i'll come back out and talk a little bit about gear and so on all right so this is uh, captain marvel in uh, cosmic danger room challenge rating all right um it's rather interesting though, because one challenge is to increase the spirit cost by 100%, but another one is that the reduced spirit cost to zero. So I don't know how it's going to work out. I think it will be a huge penalty to her health. I'm using a health costume, uh, which is one here with invulnerable um, kind of like a, like a core. But uh, to be honest, even so, I think it's rather hard as well. Um, so, uh, okay, so what, I'm, what do I need to do? I must eliminate the linja. So I'm just fly over there uh, all the way to eliminate the linja. Uh, we'll see how the thing goes. It's all the way there, very fast. So, uh, wrong way. <laughs> Let's go back up there and round the corner into this like um, <laughs> master here. So uh, let me see what this thing would be like. Uh, I think let's do some warm up first, shall I? It's like a, and my favorite wrecking ball as well. So how great it is, All right? I think I just need to constantly go on, um, like a you know a cool down and on invulnerable shield because I can't really see what is incoming and stuff like that, especially with the uh, wrecking ball that um, unexpectedly it will come about. Uh, and with the lag and latency, sometimes it's just a little bit hard. Um, all right, uh, signature. Just uh, keep spamming some of this, like you know, stuff that I can, uh, you know, make use of the full photonic energy or the fast, super fast charge of it. All right, this is rather pleasant. Eternal splinter, rare commodity, commodity this day. 
So I need to uh, finish off the rest of it. Um, I would rather say so. There's no spirit cause, and the uh, it doesn't really cause much of my health either. That is rather interesting. Well, I, I have a rather high health regen as well for my Miss Marvel. Um, but I, I know I must confess though, I was in a uh, cosmic tournament version, the dupe version. It was totally, you know, she was totally brutally murdered inside, <laughs> even with the invulnerable core. And the uh, exchange, uh, no, the exchange, the, uh, the, the challenge rating was rather low. It was like in the low 20s. And sometimes I don't understand how this game works. Like, you know, how do they define the, the kind of like uh, difficulties when things are obviously so much more difficult, but yet it seems like uh, so much lower the, the number. So, you know, it's one of those things in, in, in this game. Alright, so I'm just working my way through, trying not to get wrecked by the Wrecking Ball. <laughs> Mila Cyrus. Yeah, whenever I think about Wrecking Ball, I think about that song with her on top of the ball, kind of thing. Hmm. Anyhow. Ah, uh, okay, just uh, another signature time, and I, I just need to spam signature when I can. And the uh, so far, I think so far so good. I really don't know how it works, man, with the uh, spirit course and, you know, one is 20% 20, 20 the other one is zero <laughs> well we'll see and the uh, so far I'm not having a lot of difficulty yet but you never know all right simulation completed all right and I should be able to move on to the next stage here now next stage let's see what I need to do eliminate the three elite serpent men so just do what they say you know, this should be the replacement of ho Hollow Sim, you know. They should just forget about the whole Hollow Sim, drop the whole thing. This is in itself a simulation, right, Danger Room? So why do they even bother with the Hollow Sim? Well, this is a lot of... <laughs> wow, I'm getting signature here. And the, uh, pop my invulnerable seal and uh, try to spam as many of those, like, uh, the damage over time range as possible. Also heal myself a little bit, health regen, and so on. Stellar Flare. Uh, I think that's what it's called. I need to check the name again. It's been a while since I played this. Um, ah, Wrecking Ball! No! Alright, so just uh, get my token. Sometimes looting can be quite dangerous. Uh, resist the temptation to loot uh, <laughs> until later. Alright, so that is the uh, set up there and you know, uh, a bit of heal as well. Get some globe and go back in. Uppercut. Alright, done. Oh no, don't disturb me. Alright, so there are more as well, so let's see. No, uh, let's see what's up there. There's another one here. Pop the signature. So you can uh, power up all your photonic energy, kind of like the three major power that you have. Well, at least that's what I do. Um, but uh, do eat some mad kit occasionally because your, your team up probably need it more than you in this sort of environment as what I've learned <laughs> through very painful experience. Keep dying, the, the team up keep dying really, what can I do? Um, right. so pop the signature again and the three combo that uh, go along with it so that works really well sometimes. So uh, I mean uh, don't forget uh, the, the uh, the stellar flare, the uh, crash down strike, and oh, I mean the photonic wave, the stellar flare as well as the uppercut, they all can benefit from this full kind of thing. So, you know, uh, just make sure that you don't uh, neglect the kind of like um, knowledge that's important to, you know, if you are have the luxury of not kiting too much, you can always do that. Huh. Pop the thing. One, two, three. Uppercut as well, and go back in. Uh, maybe heal myself uh, in advance. I think there's some help with Jen there. Instead of, yep. Hmm. I really can't see what is uh, coming my way, so I just randomly kite around to to avoid some damage. And I could like uh, this. Uh, one, two, three, maybe. Just waiting for. Ah, uh, I can't really. Sometimes the timing is not that great. Um, all right, uh, that is one, and I got double unique, and I can pass to the next next phase. I hope I have to continue. Uh, oh yeah, there's some globe somewhere inside, so I'm just going to grab those, and I think I'm done. All right, so now it's facing the boss. I hope it's not Mr. High. Never a fan of Mr. High. Hmm. <laughs> you never know. 
Oh man, Mega Sensory. This was like one of those range power can never quite um, get away from. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's just uh, ultimate here. Ah, uh, oh, man. This is uh, not going to be good, man. This is not going to be good. I uh, get out from there and go back in, maybe. Come on, man. I need to spam this so that my Deadpool doesn't die on me and uh, because the consequences is rather rather bad if uh, my... I get out. You see, I got out, man. It's like, you know what, those uh, lag that is very... Ah, uh, my Deadpool is dead. No, it's not. There's like one of those things that are really, really not nice about this game is that I obviously have moved out, but uh, just... Uh, and, and well... Ah. Oh. Oh, pop, 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 pop. And uh, where's my Deadpool? Uh, probably still there. Amazing, Deadpool. Yes, Deadpool come to the rescue. No. Oh, man, I got out. I clicked the button. It's just like the animation got stuck and what. You know, one thing about this game, right, if I could really suggest to Gazian to improve, is that when I press the dash button, cancel all my animation, like on any other good game, uh, like World of Warcraft, whatnot, you know, because it is an emergency. You want to dash out. But uh, it's just one of those, like, you know, I think I could review the footage whereby she's still trying to punch. And no, I want to get out, you know. This is the thing that feedback is just not there. Um, when I want to do something and the game doesn't want me to do that, but, but uh, that is the frustration I have. But in any case, I mean, uh, she's uh, doing all right, I think. This is a 40, well, 30, 39 change rating. I still get two boxes. Do I have anything good from here? Let me see. What do I have? Uh, I have an insignia, another unique, which I won't be using. And uh, that's about it. Um, no, nothing much. Anyway, so I'm going to head back out and talk a little bit more about the build itself, alright? I hope with the uh, Danger Room clip, you get a sense of how she plays like um, in a harder content. So I've taken off all the gear and I would like to show you my build and talk you through my um, sort of thinking behind it, alright? So assuming that you're 168 power point, I think, well, I've got three more somewhere. Um, I think I need to get it from the uh, Limbo and so on, or Story 10 whichever one of them. But assuming that you get 165, which is what I have here, extra three points, you dump it to here. Or I'll talk a little bit about it later. Um, so from the brawling part of it, uh, if you are doing the melee, uh, which is what I'm doing, is a hybrid of melee and range. Melee is physical power, range is the, uh, the energy. So with that, you get hybrid. I would suggest get a haymaker. Haymaker is the one that caused me. Haymaker is iconic to Miss Marvel or Captain Marvel now. It is, uh, last time was, uh, you, can, you can see, she really punched really hard and, you know, kind of thing. But uh, I, think, I think over time, all the heroes nowadays are, you know, punching quite hard also. So it's one of those things. And the uh, infused uppercut is also nice because it has the very, uh, it has two components to it, direct hit as well as the eight second uh, um, kind of like uh, damage over time. If you spend all the photonic, photonic energy, then you buff it by 150% addition to whatever you have addition, right? Um, <clears throat> then, do you want to max this or do you not want to max this? I max this for the health regen as well as for the maximum health. Um, it is not really that much, but, uh, but also because when you spend your photonic energy, which is rather often, I think about like every five seconds or so, uh, you get additional health regen. So, you know, it, it is important to have get some health regen, but haven't said that, right? Just want to set the tone, right? If the content is really hard, like some of the tournament um, kind of like a dupe scenario, it doesn't matter how much health regen you have, you're still getting murdered. Um, it doesn't matter what kind of health you have. If your hero design is not uh, not that great, nothing you can do. Uh, then after that, uh, you have Kree Toughness. This one gives you the damage rating, crit and hit rating. Those are very nice. Tenacity is not great. So in a sense, um, you know, you, you, you probably a little bit um, uh, disappointed. I'm a little bit disappointed to have Tenacity inside because uh, all these come with a cost and Tenacity is really not a very good um, stat at all at this, at this very moment. 
Photonic wise, uh, photonic wave actually hit rather hard as well. Give you the uh, the twice per second and uh, kind of like a damage over time. Also, when you spend the photonic photonic energy, you buff it by addition hundred fifty percent. So it works side by side really well with the infused uppercut. One is melee, one is range. You can have both slap together. No, that's fine. You stack. Uh, this is for the signature. So. You know, it has massive uh, kind of like uh, every half a second it generate 100, I think. But then because of, with all the lag and so on, you probably can uh, kind of like, uh, you know, fire off three of this power provided that your stellar flare is not on cooldown. Because sometimes you click it before, um, the you know, the, there's the eight second kind of window. So you may want to time it, delay it a little bit, or you say, well, forget it. Because um, <laughs> I, I'd rather just keep my uptime on 100% uh, rather than wait for too long. So uh, another one, Stellar Flare, uh, which is uh, one of my favorite one as well, used to be, you need to charge it, now no more. Um, again, you know, you spend photon energy, you deal 150% uh, additional. So like I said before, whichever one of them, you can't really mean and max everything, just uh, because of all this timing wise, you just have to you know, fire off whenever available. And just remember to reapply those, like, uh, even if you clip it uh, with the damage over time overlap, you still need to because the timing will get a little bit messed up with the photonic energy. I wish that this photonic energy is something a little bit uh, either Either at, at, a, at a nicely four second window or you know uh, or eight second window, because all these cooldown is uh, either four you know eight seconds or damage over time eight second, but it doesn't work that way. It's a bit clunky. Remaining of, remaining of the point, I'll propose just put it here now. Why don't I mess this one rather than this one? So both are uh, defensive passive. Do you need to max both? Uh, I don't think so really because. Um, even if you if you um if you get all these things and the uh, I I don't really think I need the spirit regen because I'm a hybrid hero. Uh, hybrid heroes are rather easy on the spirit, but um if you feel that a little bit fragile, then you may want to invest in it. But then where else can you put your pull your pawns from really? Because the rest of it are really important. Uh, the 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 DPS for for Miss Marvel Captain Marvel is not that fantastic right now. So at least for this uh, melee hybrid build all right uh one point here is good enough for my for my um you know kind of a crowd control breaker and last but not this uh, my favorite crash down strike the it apply invulnerable it apply direct energy direct damage also apply the uh, damage over time and the um and, and it depends on the current kind of a store of the photonic energy as well but like i said sometimes um you, you just have to use it whenever you can. You can't really time delay any of the things. You know, it used to be like a priority system, but uh, when, when all these things are flying, you know, all this timing wise and cooldown and so on and so forth, sometimes you just have to do it, um, even if you sacrifice a little bit on the, on, 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 on the uh, damage output itself. So I would say net and then on average, you probably get half of what the benefit is um, on average. So that's what I'll, I'll, I'll roll in this. Uh, as far as Omega system is concerned, I've got another video on what are the nooks to uh, to take advantage of. But uh, I think for Miss Marvel, because of her unique kind of like a melee range hybrid, physical energy hybrid, uh, so I would recommend those nooks like Interstellar Exploration. A lot of those are melee and, and, and range card proc. Those are very nice. Energy and, um, and physical proc also very nice. Go for those plus fighting as well. And you uh, maybe go for those like Creed nooks as well, Brutal nooks as well. Those are not very uh, cheap, but uh, you know, for, for a hero like Miss, uh, Captain Marvel, I, I believe that um, there are many nodes that you can pick because if you pick any of those physical versus energy, any of those, any of those melee versus range, you have to take a discount, at least like you know, forty to sixty percent discount, depending on which node you are picking. Uh, so it's not something that I will, I will recommend uh, sacrificing. So always pick those neutral nodes, and but just one of those unfortunate thing about Miss Marvel and uh, hero synergy wise, I, I I recommend picking those like a uh, plus fighting uh, things that scale up your crit. Uh, your energy crit, your physical crit, and the uh, and, and that's about it. I mean, you know, plus fighting as well, um, and so on. So the next bit is really about um, the the gear itself. All right. Now, as for the gear wise, uh, I've got another video on the best artifact guide, and you know, and so on and so forth. So do check those out. Um, but the one that I picked, 
Uh, for Miss Marvel as follow, I, I like this one, the, the AIM robot dispenser. I think it's a rather nice kind of like uh, artifact. But uh, you gotta keep rolling though, I still need to want to get a bit better on the first roll. So I think I'll probably spend some time rolling that as well. But it does give you a rather nice like a flat damage, uh, you know, on the, on the physical and energy. I go for the Spider-Man, uh, the Spider-Clone as well, because I've got quite a number of uh, things flying around here. Uh, not exactly a very good uh, roll. Well, I think the damage rating is pretty alright. I uh, get a plus fighting as well. Health is not that high, but I think I can live without the 300 extra health. Uh, basically, just to slap onto the uh, health, regeneration, uh, health regeneration as well as the base damage versus boss. Because, uh, you know, I, I'm going for the best uh, blessing wise. Also, there's another guy, the best blessing guy. Um, I'm going for the hybrid kind of like, a, you know, a Voth. Vault Starch, the uh, the Sif, as well as the um, Hela and the Odin. So this set of blessing is about like I say four to five percent down in performance versus the pure hero. Uh, that is on the boss. So imagine if it's not for boss, it's even lower. All right, but that is the best you can get because there's one other thing that is really good for. Captain Marvel in terms of blessing wise, uh, you can get a uh, nano poison maybe, um, or, or or something else better. But I do need the ranks. I'm still not getting a top fifty rank yet, so uh, I do need either you know either that or the flag of the empire. Uh, that one is pretty good as well. Then hand of doom, of course, is good for everybody. It's very generic, so anything that's generic for the uh, hero, just scrap it. <laughs> maybe I need to reroll this as well. So many things to reroll, so little time. Uh, I uh, relax wise, uh, treat damage rating is good because she's a hybrid for everything, so there aren't many options out there. Or the um, the health on hit, but uh, you know you can only gear for defense so much because <laughs> the hero still need to do damage. Um, so that's at least my point. Uh, Dupe room is good for her. I mean all these roll are very nice, um, uh, but still feel very lag behind. Uh, power cosmic. Is the uh, legendary for a hybrid hero, especially for her physical energy. I don't think there's any other. Probably you could get a shield if you want, grade 80. Uh, then no one in the raid will reject you. Although your DPS probably will be a little bit uh, lower than this one, I think. But at least uh, it's, uh, then you can get a little bit aggressively on the... Um, on, on, on the offensive power, right? Uh, in terms of the ring wise, uh, this this ring is the best for the Miss Marvel uh, physical energy and, and uh, physical and energy. Uh, so get that uh, for this build. Other than that, her unit is all right. I mean, uh, there's really nothing to um, you know too much complain on her unique. So I'm just like getting my way through, hoping to get some of this uh, plus uh, attribute to it uh, from the Cosmic High Town. Um, you know the I, I really strongly suggest if you do something like this, uh, get one of those like the uh, invulnerable core for her, if you want to do a pure you know damage kind of thing because she really 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 need it. Uh, and the uh, then this one rise I think uh, some brutal some crit damage rating is good because power cosmic is lacking in terms of the uh, from a legendary point of view you are losing quite a fair bit of crit uh, kind of component to it. So get those. Uh, pet wise is this one. All right, so I uh, I think in in closing, uh, as you all know, now uh, if we you, if you have been following my channel, um, I Miss Marvel or Captain Marvel now is the very first hero I've unlocked in um, this game Marvel Heroes on day one after the close beta, and I pay cash for that. So I you know how much I like her in, as my roster. She has gone through up and down, mostly is down. I think uh, I think it's, uh, I mean you know, I think more than one year ago June. 2015. I mean, she was pretty all right. I think a very high health regen. People were relying on her on on her durability. But I think over time, there are many other heroes that uh, overtook her in both the survivability, like Emma Frost, and the uh, and, and the damage output, like Emma Frost, <laughs> or any other newer heroes, like you know, um, Ultron and so on. So, um, I I think you know, in, in terms of the my only criticism on 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 Captain Marvel is that uh, she need to really um, you know, tune up uh, quite a fair bit, and also because of the whole lack of like a uh, choice in some of this, like uh, because of hybrid and so on, and more so the power now seems a little bit, um, you know, because the thing doesn't really fall under the same window, a little bit clunky to actually click around. But like I always say, uh, if you're a fan, you always make it work, and I do still enjoy playing Miss Marvel in a not too hard content, but uh, in a content like Cosmic Patrol, I mean, she sell through it 
really nicely, jumping around, all the effects and so on. Her voice acting is fantastic. Her costume, my friends, uh, is fantastic. I just have to do that. Anyhow, uh, see you next time. Goodbye.